The mall comes to a natural end with Mayfield's department store. Let us see. The lizard man too. Do you guys believe in lizard people? You're really looking forward to Lizard Man, Lizard Man 2. The first one is a classic. You've seen it at least 27 times. That's a lie. Going Abe, in Blaster Vision, you heard about this one. Blaster Vision really redefines what a cinema can be. What the heck is that? Oh, it's another film. Um, let's take that. I wonder. We haven't taken a single photo with our. Mm, with our camera. Where's the camera? There's the camera. I'm blind. Use. Use camera on the... That here. It's probably not worth wasting film on that. Okay. If it ain't worth it, it ain't worth it, huh? You pull on the handle with all your might, but it won't budge. Employees only, indeed. The ad store is closed. Can we go into the theater? This is the smaller, more version of the local movie theater. You wish it was open, you could use a movie to take your mind off all this craziness. I suppose that means we're not able to go inside. Can we go into Mayfields? You walk through the graping entrance to Mayfields, bracing for the wall of perfume. The sharp sting of 50 different perfumes assaults your senses the second you cross the threshold into Mayfields. The flowery fog is especially thick today. You soon realize it's not a cloud of cologne, but a shroud of smoke. Ooh. Out of which steps a hunched figure, his eager grin dripping ill intents. So, since we cannot take a picture of the movie poster, can we take a picture of that? We can. You you send the subject and snap a picture. A moment later, the photograph slides out. Crombie. A Polaroid photo of Crom Crom Crombie? The Leprechaun. He's holding an item, but the film hasn't developed enough to see it yet. He is holding an item. Okay. Test the perfume. You spritz a small amount of perfume into the air and breathe it in. It smells musky. Uh, let me take it. Makeup, take it. I don't know what we need that for, but hey. Crombies, my name, and if you'd be a sport, I will present you with one fine quest of a sword. It's more of a riddle, yes, a riddle it be, and the only way past beyond here is through me, okay, Crombie? So here's the big moment with no more delay and open your ears. Child, it's your riddle, I'm saying. Raw records every detail of your life down to the day but turns obsolete in a year's time. So roll that free of mine with quick as a dancer. When you solve the puzzle, simply show me your answer. But I must be up front and issue this morning. If you answer me wrong, you won't lie, live to see morning. <laughs> Forgot my clue, did you? Well, that's no cause for flogging. I restate the riddle to kickstart your noggin. It records every detail of your life down to the day, but turns obsolete in a year's time. Uh, a picture? Nah. A calendar. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, there now, you got it! <laughs> Something I didn't expect. I didn't expect that either, man. So, gran congratulations, calendar is correct. Since you played by the rules, I should do the same. I will leave you alone here just as quick as I came. That was something. Okay. Mirror, look. A makeup counter without mirrors to check your work would truly be a nightmare. Let's take the lipstick with us. So, where do we go? Women's or shoe department? Let's go to the shoes. Racks upon racks of shoes line the walls in various displays scattered about. Definitely the shoe department. What do we have here on the floor? Oh, I hear the. Rannock. 
You always wanted one of these as a kid. They look so cool. You take the Branagh device and slip it into your bag. Let's take the shoes with us, hey. You collect the red heels. You scoop up the slippers. You take the sneakers as your own. Oh, look, it's the... It's the secure... Oh, wait. It looks like the security guard is right behind me, actually. Like, right here. It's wonderful. If you were to make a shoe purchase, this is where you would do it. Like, you walk over and sift through the man's shoe section, looking for anything of note, you find nothing. Can take lots of shoes with me, hey. I always wanted to have a shoe collection, I'm not a big fan of... I mean, I mean, shoes are shoes, you know. But I'm really not crazy about shoes. That is a very creepy, it's the robot cop on this thing. I think he's standing right behind me. Fitting room. You continue for shoes. Hitting fitting rooms next. You grip with apprehension as you enter the fitting rooms. All three styles shut. You peek underneath each door just in case something is lying in wait to attack. You don't see anything suspicious. I'm not sure about the left one though. But that doesn't mean you're safe. The door slowly opens with an extended creak. Oh, it's just closed. Okay. Take the jeans then. Received. You keep the receipt for future reference. The door easily opens, revealing the fitting room beyond. Let's take the red dress. You check your reflection in the mirror. This time it's not trying to kill you. You look, in a word, tired. Deep bags hang beneath your eyes and your hair is a mess. The weight of the afternoon settles across your shoulders and you feel much heavier. Let's open that one. The door leaps out of your hand, slamming into the store with a resounding bang. Let's get the green dress. That looks suspicious. Although... Oh, you stop in front of a clothing display in the women's department. Three mannequins stand arranged in odd poses. I better have to dress them up. You snag the overalls and find a spot in your bag. Oh, I can... You reach out to take the mannequin and immediately realize something's not right. It's torso where you grab it, swivels around 800, 180 degrees, loosening your... It killed me. Ooh... That's some creepy shit. That's some very creepy shit right here. Um, so, what if I go and dress you? No? This dress isn't really your style, but maybe it's the mannequin style. Hmm. These signs indicate a significant markup even on the sale items. I don't know, should I... <laughs> nah, I can't really use them. Can't really use anything here. Should I give that another try? Ah, uh, you know, maybe you're just gonna ignore them, I guess. Some red heels for you, maybe. These heels are really your style. Okay, back to makeup. Ah, okay, that was the women's department, I see. 
So we've made a round trip now. Okay. Okay, we're back here. We didn't make it to the arcade yet. You eagerly rush into Zap's arcade. Hell yeah. Zap's arcade glows all around you. Games of every era and genre preserved for eternity in a Digny Mall shop. You step out to the ski ball machine and rub your hands together in anticipation. Oh, I can actually play? Oh, I could if I had anything. Maybe I need to find myself a coin. Can we dance? Unfortunately, without coins, you can only watch the attract mode while wiggling the joystick, pretending to play. Kids bring their hard-won tickets here to exchange them for prizes. Place the tickets in this box to claim a prize. I mean, we already stole so much. Bit of more doesn't hurt. What's that in the wall? Okay, I can't play anything right now. You turn the knob, but it won't move. Clearly a locked door. Too bad. What was that again? The store key, right? Ah, uh, yeah, right. Back hallways. Um, so store key though, maybe. Does that work? You turn the hat store key and the door unlocks imme immediately. Let's, let's go there. You proceed through the door into the hat shop. You're in an upscale hat store. There's a very pleasant leather smell about this place. Let's take all those... I'm, I'm still feeling like I need to... Dress those mannequins in red, green and blue. Oh, another film. Hat matters. Are they serious with these portraits? Uh, apparently. Suspenders. Ties. Let's take a tie. We have so much shit with us. It's terrible. Can we take a purse with us? No. Since they say wells, it's only fair they have a selection of purses. Take that hat here. I think everything else is. No, we can also take the fedora. Hey, I mean, let's go. I don't know how our, everything here fits in our backpack. A beanie. That looks like a weird beanie. Yeah, I have no idea how all of that fits into our backpack. Well, here we are now. So, sadly, I cannot go for any arcade games. You can't find a keyhole. Okay. Maybe it is actually those coins in here? But it's sad the water was extremely hot, wasn't it? That's left, that was the second hand left hand store. It's one of your favorite shops to browse. Could borrow that chainsaw for all those ghosts and robots here. So how would I grab a coin? I would say with the with the the twingy twangies, what are they called again? The uh, tongs. It's not only a thing for pictures. I could grab a tong a coin with that tongue. So that doesn't really make sense. Why wouldn't I be able to do that? I have lots of, lots of clothes with me. Well, 
No, without. Not as long as the fountain is full. Does that mean I need to stop the fountain, maybe? A very fancy tilt fountain full of clear, glistening water. Not glistening water, mind you, glistening coins just beneath the surface. Maybe I can turn that off somehow. Let's go to the food court again. Right, 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 right. Oh yeah, there were the security cameras. Yeah, of course. Am I able to go to the toilets? It's a public restroom used by anyone who visits the food court throughout the day. You can probably hold it. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. We better hold it. Um, okay, so I would say our next step then is to actually... Oh no, oh look at that. And got them coppers inside the cavity city. Um, oh, it's a receipt for Cavity City. This is a receipt from Cavity City you found lying around. Looks like somebody bought 730 worth of candy. I wonder how that is relevant. Um, so security note. Straight, left, right, straight. Right, right, left, straight. So straight, left, right, straight. Let's do that first. Straight. Left. Right. Straight. And then it was right, right, left, straight. Oh. Right, right, left, straight. So, right. Right. Left. And straight. Hmm, and here we have the cameras, nice. A large bank of monitors rises from a computer terminal. This must be the command center of more security. You sit down and focus on the screens. That's a creepy figurine. Who the heck is that? Is it the bookstore? It seems to be the bookstore figure is staring directly at you. Is it slappy? We decide to keep the candy store memo. Another memo? Fountain. This camera is watching the fountain at the center of the mall. It's full of coins and water. This looks like an official report following a shoplifting incident. The suspect was female, green hair, suspect wearing red dress and heels. Green hair, red dress and heels. Okay. Somehow against all odds, this magazine survived when faced by the internet. Impressive. Oh. A photograph taken from security footage. It's a curly haired woman in a sun hat. Okay, she is wearing that hat here. We, we didn't. We did we already find necklaces? I don't think so. And I bet it is that red dress. Oh no, it doesn't have arms, so it must be the green dress. It could be, however... No, no it's the green dress. I guess. If I had to guess from those that we have found already. It's a more security memo regarding the head store. While the manager is on vacation, the owner of the kiosk has agreed to lock, lock up each night. Yeah, I... Oh, fountain. You press the button to drain the fountain and watch on the monitor as the water lowers and disappears. That is nice. Last sighting. 
Last sighting is scribbled on a note. So, a clear view of the public payphones near the food court. Can I turn the... With a pop that hollows your stomach, the world goes black. Someone or some things must have severed, severed the power line. Darkness stretches in every direction. You turn your head, desperately seeking any kind of landmark. It's so dark you can't be sure you're even moving. No, we're not going left then. Wait, didn't you already? There's no time to collect your thoughts. There's something shuffling towards you. This reminds me a bit of the mall in Silent Hill. You slam into a wall, hard, stumbling. You aren't sure of your bearings anymore. Small voices echo down the hallway. It sounds like they're coming this way. You creep down a passage to the right. You fake right, then immediately cut left. You slam into a door, the knob digging under your ribs. You catch your breath and hope that doesn't happen again. You trip over something that emits a small ouch, but scramble to your feet and hurry onward. Um. You dive down a hallway leading left. Sharp breathing, only a few... know what to do to be honest I oh wait I cannot use any items <laughs> holy shit something sometimes doing nothing is worse than doing the wrong thing at least now you know better for next time I got I got killed by a gnome why a gnome? I want the muck here. You don't want to touch it. Maybe I do. Shoplifters. Several examples of folks that aren't welcome at the mall. An account of criminals. <sighs> I didn't really know what triggered it. I don't... So... I just do something, I guess. Let's just decide for anything. Maybe the game just wants me to go for something. God. Gnomes. Something nothing behind me. Oh. You emerge from the corridors at the far end of the mall. You lean against the door, haggard breast wrecking your chest. Okay, the security guard is in front of me. So we're gonna turn back from here. You lean over and snatch up as many coins as you can hold. You hope this doesn't mean your wish won't come true. I guess those are the coins that I'm using at the arcades. Um, work order. Please complete the removal of the door between Cavity City and Bone Chilling Books. It's blocked off and hidden at the moment, but can still be opened from the register in Cavity City. Okay, so the bookstore is like behind here. Um, 
An official report detailing a shoplifting incident. The suspect, oh yeah, female green hair, wearing a red dress and heels. Maybe that is how I get the robot. I dress up one of the mannequins and the robot is going after her? Maybe? Okay. So the receipt was 7.30, right? 7.30 worth of candy. How much can I take though? And some pretzels. And now we're gonna... First you wear the candy. Oh. It is 5.10. Why does it need to be 7.30 though? Ah, do I really? I, I mean, I'm not crazy for candy. I'm more like, you know, I'm more like the chips person to be honest. But, um... Alright. Alright. Uh we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> 